Greetings, Sir Brian from uh, New Tech Cleaning Systems and Observex, and I'm here with Todd Schroeder from uh, CLO2 Delivery Systems. Uh, I asked Todd to actually travel up to Michigan to our uh, State Licensed Vocational Training Center so we could really kind of pick his brain quickly on the awesomeness of this new technology that's really not new, but um, it's been put together in a way that it can be used in a variety of industries, restoration industry, it's become very popular in hospitals, schools, and other types of facilities to treat really strong or foul mal odors. Um, we're going to talk about that a little bit, but uh, Todd, thanks for coming. I'm going to Thank shake you. your hand. Thank thanks you very much. You're great. Um, I, you know, we try to keep our videos a little shorter, so I'm not going to do too much, but I, I really wanted to get to the crux of some of this stuff. As a supplier in a training center, what I get the most when people come in and we suggest, hey, you know you guys could use CLO2 for that, it'd be so easy and it'd be done, it'd be done. And they, they, they get the deer in the headlights look or the fear because yeah. they, what they hear is they don't hear that it's a, something that's going to solve their problem just real easy. What they actually hear is this chemical compound thing and it just kind of scares them. That, but could you explain how simple it is real quick so these guys, can we, let's wash away some of this lack of knowledge and fear. Let's, let's help them with yeah. that. It, it's an oxidation technology uh, which enables one to be able to go into any confined space that has odors and eliminate them at the source without having to do any work or any effort besides deploying the packet in that in that area. Um, so let me ask you, I know that you and I talked, you know, prior to the video, we've talked over the months here. Yeah. I actually came to you because you were one of the, the top experts in this technology in the country. And I it sought you out and you know there's other CLO2 brands. I mean I could have went everywhere, but gravity kept kind of pulling me to you. And, and in the end, I ended up telling our staff and the people we work with, and is is your del and that's why I like your even your name is is CLO2 delivery systems because you know a lot of companies create a product, but they have a terrible way of delivering that product to make it the most effective or cost effective or whatever whatever it is. So I really got drawn into how simplified you had made your delivery system. Um, I do have we have a bunch of stuff here, but. I had one that I had pulled out that I really just real briefly wanted to show. Um, this is uh, CLO2 delivery systems uh, pack. That's a 50 uh, grammer. Yeah, this is a 50 gram, and yeah. we can talk about that real quick. These come, I believe, in like 25, 50s, and 100s, roughly. That's correct, okay? yes. And we'll talk about that in, in one of the next videos. But um, basically, this package is so simple. As a consultant, I, I shared with you, Todd, that I was really frustrated as a consultant when I would walk into large losses or you know fire losses where there were strong odor, whether it was a protein fire, whether it was a electrical type of fire where there was a very strong odor, and I would see all these cups hanging from the ceilings everywhere with strings, and like you're doing now, you laughed at me when I said that to you, yes. and, and, and not to say that that technology that way doesn't work, but as a professional who's taught people for 25 years that you're on stage and you have to look professional and you have to, you know, you, you should consider doing things in a, in a really clean and professional manner. I, I just looked at it in the back, I never said anything, but in the back of my mind I thought I just don't, didn't, I never liked it. When I came across your system the first time, the first thing I did is I looked at it and I said, you know, okay, so let me get this straight. We open the package, we pull out the delivery system pack which I'm going to open in a second. Well, let's just open it. You know, we open it here. We open it up. We pull out this pack. Okay. Blue side down, blue side up. Blue side down. Okay. So it's simple. Blue side down. There's a fill line, which you may not be able to see in the video, but all the way around there's a little fill line that says, fill me up with water. That's it. You fill it up to the full line and you're done. Okay. Pour the water in first and yep. then, then put the packet in second. Yes, put the packet in. So what we've got is, it even comes with, which made it so simple, uh, it even comes with not only the instructions, so if you have someone that is not really getting it, um, but it also comes with um, this sign that we, we simply tape to the door there's two of them, so you can tape them to several doors that just says, here's the tr treatment time and date, and here's the re-entry time and date. In other words, don't enter until it's done doing its work, 
and I think it's 12 hours, isn't it? Six to 12 hours. Six to 12 hours. You re-enter, you open the doors, you air it out naturally, and you're done with no residual odor. That's like, correct. you know, some people don't like cherry, some people don't like lemon, some people don't like, with the chlorine dioxide, you, you know, it is a, a derivative of chlorine, but in the end, when you off-gas it right away, and, I, and we talked about how we did a new building, we, we moved our warehouse and... That's right, I remember you called me. Yeah, and the yeah. office had kind of a funk, is the way I would explain it to people. The offices looked beautiful, but just has an odor to it. And we, for fun, put these gas packs through there, and I could not believe how simple it was. And and of course, when we opened the door, you know, we just tore the floor fan on, not even an air mover, and it was just... It was Aired no right out, right? It was just clean, and it smelled clean, and it didn't have any specific odor, and no employee would be able to say, oh, I'm getting allergies, I'm allergic to lemon, or I'm allergic to this or that, this garbage you hear in our industry quite often. So, I, you know, there's, it's like the more I kept playing with your stuff, it's like, it was like gravity is the only way I could explain it. It was just so simple. And then as a business individual who does consulting, and then I went to the price, and, and this comes to the next thing that I actually will kind of comment on. You had actually corrected me because I actually said to you, you know, your delivery system is so good compared to all the others. And I said to you, the fact that you're 10 and 20% less expensive to buy the product with a far superior delivery system, I said it's a it's a no-brainer. You actually stopped me and corrected me, if you remember. Yep. And you said to me, and I don't want to say it wrong, but you said to me, and it had to do with the delivery of the product versus me dumping it in a cup or a bucket on a shelf or whatever. Can you explain that delivery? Yes. Because you said, Brian, you're not just 20% less expensive to use my product. You're missing the bigger part of it. And you explain, could you explain that okay. to me again? Yep. yep. Is a very good point because what happens is, is people look at it just in the size of the grams of the product. But when chlorine dioxide has been activated, or the packet in our case has been activated, um, it releases the gas over a long extended period of time where everybody else has a spike where it shoots off and then it drops off. And that doesn't give you a good treatment. Chlorine dioxide needs to be released over a, a longer period of time. And ours gives you a five hour consistent release giving you a better treatment on all levels so you're getting a lot more bang for your buck when you do it that way with, with this type of delivery system. So if we were treating say the front part of our store with some fire odor, let's just say, and I, I'm just kind of making up the numbers here, the way that I took that is if I was going to use, I don't know, four 50 packs or maybe 10 50 pa uh, gram packs maybe I would only need to use eight of yours. I know you don't want to hear that because you want to sell more packs, but <laughs> the reality is I'm actually not only saving money per pack, but then I'm getting a better release, so I'm getting more use of the chemical that's in yeah. that pack. Then on top of that, I might, ha I might not need, so if I was a, a, a restoration company, for example, or maybe a hospital that's putting this stuff into constant use, um, when I look at the end of the year, I might have not bought 50 or 100 packs I'd have bought that many less. It's because of the efficiency of the product. So, so that's you're fantastic. Going get, you're going to wind up using, in a situation where you might use 10 of somebody else's, very good chance you're going to use eight of ours because it's going to have a full conversion rate. It's going to release a lot more gas over a period of time and it's going to do the job easier. Right. So that just makes a, a lot of value into what I keep going back to is the system. And another thing which Maybe the restoration contractor cares about, maybe they don't. Some of these guys are getting more shrewd. And I know on the West Coast and in Canada and some of these places, they're, they're much more advanced than we are when it comes to recycling. It is becoming, we're in the Great Lakes region. There's a lot of lakes here. People are starting to get, you know, the cities are starting to drop more off. More conscientious about yes, it. Yes, yeah. and, and another thing was is that the case is recyclable, the sponge is recyclable, because this basically blows up into a sponge that's actually reusable if you want it. I was going to say, when you're all done with it, you can use this for a cleaning tool. You or you could just sponge or recycle it. Yeah. And recycle it, that's right. Yeah, so from a recycling standpoint, some of the companies like schools and hospitals, yeah, I mean, they have, you know, green standards or, or protocols that they like to follow. This would separate this product from maybe some of the others for sure. Many of the others are made out of Tyvek or or materials that are synthetic that are, are not going to be biodegradable. So yeah, so there is a, I don't want to call this green, but there's definitely a, a more green footprint, a, a lower carbon footprint with this product. So that's really good too. Um, 
A couple other things, real quick. Um, VOC, someone brought up a technical question and I didn't know how to answer correctly. Um, this product, if I were doing a fire and I did use a product like say, um, some of the coatings that are out there that they use after fire. Mm -hmm. um, shellac, for example, has a really high uh, yes, it does. VOC count. Um, I was told that this product will actually work on VOCs. Is that accurate? It, it is. It will definitely neutralize the uh, VOCs in the room. Actually, all paints or anything that's been used in a home, it'll neutralize those odors. That's right. Yeah, because we've had fire contractors that have gone, said, Brian, you know, the cost of shellac has skyrocketed, and uh, there's other coatings that have now come out that have lower VOCs, but there still are there. We so. actually have people that call us to use this product for a home that's been painted, uh, where it's troublesome to the family due to the after odors, the lingering odors, and they treat with this because it's airborne. Right, sure. Um, now, you have a liquid version, and I want to touch on this quickly and then we're going to kind of end this part one of the video. For those of you who are watching, we're actually going to be doing a, a, a group of videos related to CLO2 technology so that, and try to jam it into a long video that will bore you guys to death. What we're trying to do is give you some bites and pieces and then you guys can make the phone calls to Todd, make the phone calls to me, I'll give you the information at the end of the video, but um, you, you certainly will have questions and those questions will be answered throughout the upcoming videos that will come out very, very soon.